This video explains Sig Light Night Sights. There are many different kinds of sights for handguns and all serve a different purpose. Some are intentionally small, so you can easily pull them out of a holster without snagging. Others use bright colors to make the sights as visible as possible in daytime and low light. But what happens at night? How can you see the three dots in the darkness? This is the exact purpose of night sights. Sig Light night sights and other similar ones such as Kimber night sights have one important characteristic. They glow in the dark. While that may seem obvious to many of you who have been around handguns for years, it is important information to us newer gun owners. Night sights glow in the dark. This is what separates these sights from others such as the similar looking white dot sights on a Smith & Wesson SD9VE. This set of sights have white dots but they don't glow in the dark. Sig Sauer's night sights are white in daylight but glow green at night. It is very difficult to set up a video camera to mirror the human eye in these dark conditions. Just trust me, they glow at the right amount to help with aiming but not so much to seem like a flashlight shining in your face. These sights add between $80 and $150 to the price of a handgun. But they don't use batteries or need any special care. So if they don't use batteries then how do they work? Well. They're made from tritium, that's a substance that releases energy particles. Uh, photons, meaning light, and also radiation particles. So this raises the next question, which is, if these night sites release radiation, are they safe? And the answer to that question is yes. As you can see from this information from Emory University, these energy particles, the radiation particles, only travel one quarter of an inch in the air and just a minuscule, insignificant amount of distance through substance like human skin. So even if you're looking at the end of your gun looking at the sights, you're not going to be close enough to receive radiation in your eyes. So how long do these things glow? Like most radioactive substances, they get dimmer over time. And tritium, the half-life is 12.3 years. So this means that in theory, all other things being equal, about half the energy from the tritium would be released and gone in 12.3 years. So potentially it'd be about half as bright. I called the Sig Sauer support line and asked this question specifically. And their answer was that uh, most people will notice them dimmer starting at about five years. Somebody else on YouTube had commented and um, expected that be more like 10 or 12 years before most people would notice them to get dim or maybe begin to be concerned about it. In conclusion, I glowingly recommend these night sights. They work. My carry handguns will always have this feature. Thanks for watching, get training, and be safe.